Welcome and well met. It is I, the Quonset Manager, and I have been lost in the new region of the island. I wish I had been here two years ago, because I have found so many corpses that appear to me to be rather recent. I have come here in my relentless search for the infamous Trombley. I have yet to find any evidence of him, but I have found some interesting stories that I would like to share with you. The current story is of a who I call the Hushed River Hunter. Here we have a most unfortunate scene. There is a dead wolf and a dead man. There is a knife embedded in the wolf that makes the manner of its death particularly obvious. As for how the man died, the bandage just beyond his outstretched hand implies that he bled out, having just wrestled with the aforementioned lupine. To have come so close to surviving and trip at the finish line, it is a heartbreaking scene to witness. Of course, it begs the question, why? At first glance, you might say that this was a fluke, but I don't think so. Given that we find a wolf hide and two guts in the back of the cave, this is clearly a man who hunted wolves. But how did a wolf get the best of a wolf hunter. Our first clue is that there is no evidence of a weapon. We check his corpse and there's none to be found on him. So, what I suspect that we have here is that he is the owner of one of the many abandoned guns that you might find in the area. Either he ran out of bullets or left it behind because it was too heavy while he was carrying his recent kill. I've done that in the past. I've considered areas to be safe, and thus the gun is a rather heavy load to bear when you are carrying a lot of recently harvested meat. Alas, the scent of that meat must have attracted another wolf. Having no gun, trapped in the cave, he used his knife, and in the end he both won and lost. However, his loss is our gain. With this encounter, we finally have enough wolf pelts to spawn in the game to make a wolf coat without killing any wolves. The location of the pelts are as follows. There are one harvestable pelt in this cave from the wolf carcass and another pelt that can be found in the back. One wolf carcass can be found in the tunnel that is past the bridge bear above Milton. There is another potential wolf carcass that sometimes spawns in the ravine on the broken railroad map, and another potential spawn of a wolf carcass in the ice caves on the Hushed River Valley map. That's a total of five collectible or harvestable wolf pelts. So, if you want to prove yourself the ultimate He-Man, collect four wolf pelts and crafty wolfskin coat without killing a single wolf. Up until the discovery of Hushed River Valley, this couldn't happen, because only two wolf carcasses spawned on the other maps. But with the addition of Hushed River Valley, it is now possible given the three additional pelts on the map. That all said, let us have a moment of silence for the Hush River Hunter. There, but for the grace of deer, go I. Thank you for stopping by the Bear Island Tourist Kiosk. Be sure to stop by the Quonset Garage if you find yourself needing any supplies. Just remember our motto, Quonset Garage, where the water is always free.